Hello everyone. So as you know, a big reason why we're able to complete a lot of our collections on the cheap is because we find a lot of things while we're out sourcing for our eBay store. Uh, that's really kind of how things started to begin with. We we're already out every once in a while at thrift stores looking for stuff and we started eventually finding things we didn't want but we knew had value, other people wanted, and it just kind of turned into a thing over time with an eBay store and that actually is now the primary reason why we go out to thrift stores more frequently. And the best way that we find things is in the bargain bins at a Goodwill. Uh, go to thrift stores all over the place, different kinds of thrift stores, but that's always the best deals. We try to go as frequently as possible. And specifically that one that we've been finding tons of stuff recently. It's been a gold mine the last couple of months. There are some others. They're a little bit farther out. We don't go very frequently because usually it's two or three times the distance and not good as frequently so it's kind of it's too much of a gamble sometimes to make it worth the time it, you know that it takes but there's one that is pretty far out about an hour away from us that we actually didn't know about I found out uh, yesterday uh, from my mom who she knows someone uh, one of her friends has a daughter who also recently is a reseller on eBay and she goes to this one about an hour away from us and I decided to go and check it out so it was another one of those Goodwill uh, bargain outlets and it was great. It was well worth the trip out there. I do have to find a different way there and back because uh, I'll explain the route I took. It made it an all day thing, but it was definitely worth it. And there was another regular Goodwill nearby. So I went and checked that out as well. So it was a great day. It's definitely we're gonna have to go back there. You know, it is way out of the way. I was only able to go frequently, but definitely worth the trip. So I found again, a ton of great things right off the bat. It wasn't even there that long, really. Uh, just tons of bins. Uh, we will start with a couple things, kind of oddball things here, moving the, then to like the video games and movies, and then a bunch of books and other things too. Uh, a couple oddball things. We did find, uh, when I went there this morning, one of my favorite Muppets, Animal. Uh, he'll actually be up on the store. I really, you know, I love Animal, but I don't really get an Animal puppet. Uh, but he's actually from 1978, so he has a real vintage um, Animal puppet. So that was a really cool find to find right off the bat. And a Christmas you know, limited edition holiday 2016 Chuck E. Cheese. We don't get a whole lot of, of you know, like those stuffed animals or puppets or anything like that, but if it's something special, especially like this animal, something vintage in good condition, we will pick those up. And there were a ton of video games, it appeared, right when I came in the door. There was a pile of, it had to have been about 40 or 50 games, or PS2, GameCube, Wii, and even PSP, but they were all empty. All the games were gone. I looked through, like, everyone I could grab, and other people were as well, and they were all just the cases. But every once in a while, because you're paying by weight in that room, it's worth grabbing the case, because an empty case just, or an empty case with the manual without a game, might cost you like 10 or 15 cents. So for some games, okay, it's worth picking up. So we did grab, and these all have their manuals intact as well. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii. Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube. Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube. And Sonic Adventure Director's Cut for the GameCube. And, you know, sometimes as you're collecting video games, and especially when you're doing the type of collecting that we do, Frequently you might find a loose game that's in really good condition and you need to complete it So that's why it's worth grabbing just the empty box and manuals sometimes it depends on what the game is uh, we also found Star Trek Starfleet Academy for the PC and a couple of music discs this one uh, Velva Blue Barbie Girl a sealed single and Jessica Simpson in the skin one VHS tape, a Rugrats Passover, and a ton of DVDs and Blu-rays. We did find these New Line Platinum uh, Special Expanded uh, expanded Edition Lord of the Rings with all the extra features and everything. We found a Fellowship of the Ring and two towers, so we didn't find a Return of the King, but uh, Fellowship we were looking for for a while. We have the complete box set. Uh, Amanda pre-ordered like back when those came out, but uh, individually we wanted a second set of those and then two towers will go up in the store to sell. Uh, and then I'll grab this huge stack here. I have to double check, but this might be the last volume that I need for the 90s Spider-Man, Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock. Uh, the 90s Spider-Man, for some reason, outside of a single release in PAL territories that now goes for like a few hundred dollars 
it was never released in full on DVD, just these collections that are themed with you know, uh, different villains or uh, different storylines. And I, I don't know why they've never done that outside of that one box set that had a different dis uh, di distributor. I think it was released in Germany, I want to say, either Germany or the UK, but it's in PAL territory and it goes for hundreds. So I think that's the last one I need of the US releases. Got those individually. We have uh, Magic Kingdom, Imagineering the Magic. Disney stuff always sells well, especially the more interesting stuff here. Disney's Dinosaur. And two more sealed Blu-ray DVD combos of Disney movies. Tomorrowland and Inside Out. And just amazing deal when you can find these this cheap, brand new sealed, both with a slipcover. Such a great deal. And sealed, this one is actually going to be for us, Star Trek Enterprise Season 1 on Blu-ray. And the two more seasons of the 15th anniversary edition of Farscape, season two and three. One of the best shows ever made. Season three is probably my favorite season of that show, so that's really cool. The 15th anniversary releases Rise of the Planet of the Apes, one of the uh, three uh, Planet of the Apes remake movies. Uh, we hadn't seen this yet, so I was happy to find this. We're going to watch it and see if we like it enough to keep it. If not, it'll end up on the store. But the uh, newest Wonder Woman and the other ones coming out what, 19, uh, Wonder Woman 1984 or whatever, I think it comes out next year, maybe we'll see as, as things get pushed back, but uh, we didn't get the chance to see this, so we want to check that out. Simpsons, a complete ninth season box set. Uh, this is also sealed, Seventh Heaven Seasons 1 through 4. Then a massive stack of kids' books, as always, we always have any of those series that we look for all the time and put up lots for sale. Uh, one other book here, Hugh Jackman World Tour 2019, that'll be up on the store. And one for us that Amanda and I actually have both been looking forward to reading, uh, just have never found. I was glad to pick up The Radium Girls. So we both wanted to read this. She had read about it and I would heard about it on NPR quite a while ago and uh, was interested, so we're going to watch the, that. And one of the best finds of the day, especially by weight, uh, this was like less than a quarter, the GameCube Player startup disc. And half the time these go for more individually than even the GameCube Player, the, the, GameCube, the uh, Game Boy Player for the GameCube, um, because the disc it tends to get lost or say you, you know, forget that it's in the system and you go and you sell it and then you have the player and you need to have the boot disc so having that with the instructions and again it was like maybe a quarter so that's going to be a good sell there uh, one CED out of nowhere in really good condition how to beat the high cost of living and CED and then we have oh, forgot about these here some interesting plastic cups sometimes Disney uh, will sell, not for much, but they don't weigh much, so depends if they're in really good condition, but these are really cool. It's uh, from uh, Batman Returns, the old uh, McDonald's cups. That's really neat. And the last thing is here. I was very excited. These are both for me. I was very excited finding these. I have uh, Audrey Hepburn, I believe in pink. This is really going to look really cool. I have that going to have that hanging up here. And then also, I believe in pink, we have the original Pink Ranger, and this is one of the few that we were missing from this uh, specific line of toys that uh, Amanda had a bunch of her childhood ones still around. I think she has the black, red, green, I think Blue Ranger in these, but now we have Pink Ranger. I was able to find that, and this Audrey Hepburn picture, I had to grab that when I saw that. I was very excited for that. Uh, but yeah, so that was all that crazy morning. Uh, coming home took a lot longer. It was like an hour out there, uh, but uh, I, since I went to the other Goodwill, I wasn't going back the same way because I was like 10 minutes away from the outlet and I went back a different route. And do you ever have one of those moments when you are following your GPS system and it wants to take you down a road you can't go down? Uh, this time it was because of construction and the road is completely closed. And even if I would try, I was trying to go a different route, you know, you select a different route or you try to go a different way, and it constantly is just trying to reroute you back to that same road. It just, it, it is, it just will not take a different way. It's like, it's just resisting you and very stubborn. I want to go down that road, even though you can't go down that road. I just have one of those issues where I had to like fight the GPS and kind of find my way, but wasn't familiar with the area. So eventually I was able to find my way to somewhere where it, 
took me on a way that I knew where to go and it wasn't trying to force me down that one road but like that added to the trip back and then there was more construction down the road and then traffic so it ended up being like an hour and 45 minutes trying to get home uh, when it was like a little under an hour to get there to, to start so that just took forever but overall it was well worth it this morning I had time to go out there and check this out we're gonna go out there every once in a while probably maybe once a month once every two months kind of thing it was really really good but it is pretty far out of the way uh, considering we don't do this full time uh, so yeah just great great finds though definitely well worth it and again if you find stuff in the bins by weight that's where you really make the money if you are reselling or build your collection if you're collecting things for next to nothing I mean, if you can really find those deals and just wait out instead of paying full price for stuff you can get really cool stuff for very very cheap